Hey there, everybody. It's Pastor Jason. Glad you could join me for Daily Devotionals today. We're in Matthew 4, and I'm in a little bit of a rush. Just outside my window, they are chainsawing down a fairly large tree, so I'm kind of trying to sneak it in between chainsaws and heavy equipment and trucks and banging around. So we pray real fast, and then we'll get into it, and hopefully you'll get something out of it real fast. Father... Thank you so much. We thank you for your love and kindness in our lives. Even when we are in a rush in life, you are in control. We thank you that you have power in our life and that you dictate our daily schedule. Lord, we thank you that you give us opportunities each day. May we be diligent and faithful in making sure we make most of every opportunity. May we glorify your name in every opportunity. And that's in your son's holy name I pray. Amen. All right, chapter 4, verse 1. Here we go. Let's see if I can get it in before the chainsaws fire back up. Then Jesus was led up by the Spirit into the wilderness to be tempted by the devil. After he had fasted 40 days and 40 nights, he was hungry. And the tempter approached him and said, If you are the Son of God, tell these stones to become bread. But he answered, It is written, Man must not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes from the mouth of God. Then the devil took him to the holy city, had him stand on the pinnacle of the temple, and said to him, If you are the Son of God, throw yourself down, for it is written, He will give his angels orders concerning you, and they will support you with their hands, so that you will not strike your foot against the stone. Jesus told him, It is also written, Do not test the Lord your God. Again, the devil took him to a very high mountain, showed him all the kingdoms of the world and their splendor, and he said to him, I will give you all these things if you fall down and worship me. Then Jesus told him, Go away, Satan, for it's written, Worship the Lord your God and serve him, only him. Then the devil left him, and immediately angels came and began to serve him. When he heard that John had been arrested, he withdrew into Galilee. He left Nazareth behind and went to live in Capernaum by the sea, in the region of Zebulun, by Naphtali. This was to fulfill what was spoken through the prophet Isaiah. Land of Zebulun, land of Naphtali, along the sea road beyond the Jordan, Galilee of the Gentiles. The people who live in darkness have seen a great light. And for those living in the shadow land of death, light has dawned. From then on, Jesus began to preach, Repent, because the kingdom of heaven has come near. As he was walking along the Sea of Galilee, he saw two brothers, Simon, who was called Peter, and his brother Andrew. They were casting a net into the sea, since they were fishermen. Follow me, he told them, and I will make you fish for people. Immediately they left their nets and followed him. Going on from there, he saw two other brothers, James, the son of Zebedee, and his brother John. They were in a boat with Zebedee, their father, mending their nets, and he called them. Immediately they left the boat and their father and followed him. Jesus was going all over Galilee, teaching in their synagogues, preaching the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and sickness among the people. Then the news about him spread throughout Syria, so they brought to him all those who were afflicted, those suffering from various diseases and intense pains. The demon possessed the epileptics and the paralytics, and he healed them. Large crowds followed him from Galilee, Decapolis, Jerusalem, Judea, and beyond the Jordan. Well, very quickly, as I hear the heavy equipment starting to rumble back in, I, it, I find it interesting that the devil tries to get Jesus to turn on God through like the, the basic necessities. He tries to get him to turn on God and even just the idea of his concept of who and what God would do. And then he tried to get him to turn on God by trying to promise him things that weren't even his to promise. Don't let Satan do that to you. 
use scripture in your life to fight back Satan as well as he tempts you throughout your day. And then I love how we get, again, the fulfillment of scripture. Remember, Matthew's all about Jesus' fulfillment of scripture and the authority he has. Uh, so, and we saw that in the first part when the temptation of Jesus. Uh, but he also then begins to preach as he starts to live in Capernaum. He begins to preach, repent, because the kingdom of heaven is near. He calls the first disciples and they immediately, they just leave what they're doing and start to follow Christ. And lastly, he is compassionate on the people, healing them of their disease, teaching them as best he can, and people come from all over to hear from him and to be healed by him. And with that chainsaw, I hope you have a great day. Be blessed. Be a blessing. See you tomorrow at Chapter 5.